This is your stitch selector dial. You will turn it to pick the stitch you want to sew. You will feel the dial clicking into position as you turn it. So to select a stitch, you simply move the dial until it clicks into place under this marking on your machine. You will notice there are black, blue, and red stitches. To use the blue or red stitches, you will move your stitch length dial above to the blue S1 or the red S2. These stitches will look best at the widest setting. If the stitch length dial is on any other black number, it will sew the black stitches at the desired length set. The higher the number, the longer the stitch. You can adjust the width of decorative and utility stitches with the dial at the top of your machine here. Here is an example of different stitch lengths, and here is an example of different stitch widths. In straight stitch, you can adjust the needle position of your straight stitch to the far left, center, and far right with this dial here. Let's sew the centered straight stitch. On the needle plate here, you will see these markings. These are seam allowance markings for when you are sewing with the centered straight stitch. The front is marked in metric, while the back is marked in imperial, or inches. We will line up the edge of our fabric to the 5 8 inch guide, which is a very popular seam allowance when making garments from patterns. Lower the presser foot and step on the foot control to sew. Now let's sew a seam. After sewing two to three stitches, press and hold the reverse lever to sew backwards over your stitching, which will lock your seam in place. Step on the foot control to start sewing again. You will want to press and hold the reverse lever at the start and end of every seam to prevent unraveling.